Good evening, my dear colleagues. Welcome to a new series by Inget titled Talks with Colleagues that uh, hopefully we will uh, have every month. As our first guest, we invited Tony Gurr, Dr. Tony Gurr, in fact, a great friend and a great supporter of Inget. Uh, this evening, we will talk about professional development and a new opportunity for PD. Tony, uh, Dr. Tony Gurr is a seasoned teacher, trainer, consultant, and a lifelong learner. He draws on his wide range of hands-on experience in schools, colleges, and HEIs in the UK, the Middle East, the US, Australia, and Turkey, which is his adopted home. Tony is a popular workshop facilitator and keynote presenter, well known for his creative and thought-provoking sessions with teachers and faculty-based trainee teachers. He is passionate about all forms of student, teacher, and institutional learning. Welcome, dear Tony Ocha. Thanks for being our guest. So this, this is a new experience for all of us. I just want to start with a general question, if it's okay with you. Okay. What is professional development? How, how would you define it? Or how would you define, in your own opinion, uh, professional teacher learning? Oh, well, well, I'm I'm actually glad that you you use that phrase teacher learning, because to, to be honest, that 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 that's the one um, I prefer to use, because when, when we think about PD, a lot of the time we think about um, examples of PD. So we'll often go, ah, a training program, ah, a workshop um, or a conference. Yeah. yeah. Um, so so they're, they're kind of examples of PD, but we don't always focus on the purpose. And, and the purpose of PD is is really growth. Yeah. Learning. Yeah. And, and those two things are essentially personal for individuals you know it's a it's a little bit I mean if we think about it in terms of constructivism for example as, as a theory of learning you know a, a teacher constructs their own learning they construct their own knowledge yeah um, and a lot of the time when we talk about examples of professional development when we look at a training program a course um, a CELTA you know, a master's program, a workshop, yeah, they're, they're objects, yeah, they're, they're not really about uh, the process. So, so for me, if I define PD or CPD, yeah, or, or whatever, I know a lot of people have been tr struggling to find the right word <laughs> as, as they, you know, develop their professional development units, um, it's unusual now to, to find a school or a university that has a teacher training unit. It's, it's not very sexy to say teacher training anymore. You know, it's like professional development. Um, and I think that's why people have started to see that idea of, of, of growth and learning of teachers um, as being really what we're talking about. And, and we have to stay focused on that, that outcome. I mean, I, I often say this when I, I, I do blog posts, I sort of say, okay, well, no, um, uh, on Facebook this, this weekend, I, I was putting up some bedtime reading. And those of you that know me well go, oh my God, he's sending us pages and pages of reading again. And I say, no, this is gentle bedtime reading. Get a cup of coffee, sit in bed, you know, and just, just have a quick read through it. And then the way I always start it is, you know, it's about learning, growing, and getting off this bloody planet as quickly as we can, <laughs> you know? And that's a very personal thing, as I said, yeah? Um, now, some people disagree with me because they, they say, well, teachers work in schools, 
you know, and the school has to have strategic goals, you know. We, we saw this in the pandemic, you know, overnight, teachers had to learn how to use Zoom, you know, and that was a strategic goal of the school because students weren't coming to school. So every teacher needed, how, uh, needed to learn how to do Zoom. What was interesting though is not every school help teachers learn. Yeah, basically you said, okay, this is the tool. You have to learn how to use it. You've got 24 hours, you know, and teachers go, oh, and they can't do the best learning and the best growth, you know, because people are not caring about them. They're not focusing on the in individuals. Um, but I get that schools have those. But at that time in the pandemic, and, and it was emergency remote teaching, you know, um, teachers had to go through that process of learning. They had to grow as a teacher. The vast majority of teachers in Janov Turki had never used that platform. You know, uh, the, 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 the same with Teams, you know, they just never used it. So they really had to grow, you know, in order to be able to, to use it well. Yeah. Um, so using that as an example, for me, you know, that, that kind of growth, learning, for teachers and, and educators is critical. You know, we cannot do our jobs, you know, if we're not growing, if we're not learning, if we're not trying to get off the planet as quickly as we can. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Now you're looking at me. I, I've got a feeling you're 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 going to hit me with another tough question. That was the easy <laughs> question, wasn't it? No, in fact, uh, there's no difficult or hard question here. Uh, this is a friendly chit chat, I call it. Uh, and uh, my dear colleagues, if you have any ideas, any comments, any remarks that you'd like to share, again, please use the chat box and uh, you know just contribute to this uh, interview. Now, Tony, the, the, the answer that uh, you have just given gave me the idea that, um, yeah, teachers um, want to develop, improve themselves uh, professionally or personally, but um, sometimes schools or institutions do not provide them with the necessary oh. opportunities. Is that the, the right message that um, uh, you were trying to say or did I misunderstand what you said this is how teachers I, want to develop but sometimes not always sometimes yeah. schools fail to provide teachers with the opportunities is that no, is that I, so I, I think that's a great question and and the question itself um, shows the complexity of the problem yeah, I mean, um, let's be really honest as, as well, you know, there are quite a lot of teachers who say, get lost. I'm not doing professional development. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm retiring mm -hmm. next year. Screw mm -hmm. you. <laughs> oh, sorry. Censorship <laughs> um, is going to come, like of course, definitely. I know. I know. <laughs> and, and that's the reality, mm -hmm. you know. Um, we, we do have teachers, un, unfortunately, who see um, their role um, as a job. Mm -hmm. They don't see it as a career. And you tend to find some of those teachers are not interested. Mm -hmm. you know? In fact, you, you, you sometimes get teachers, and I've, I've had this, they say, I've been teaching for 20 years, I've, I've done my master's. Nadem Basko Bashir in a gem. Chinku, you're human. Yes. You know, nobody is perfect except God and my wife. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, is she around? Is that why you have just made that statement? No, no. I'm just going to make sure she sees the recording when it's I put see. out. I see. Yeah. Um, so, and, can and we say that? Uh, I'm going to use some, okay? I don't want to make generalizations here because that will be a very strong statement to make. Some oh, teachers yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. feel that uh, they're competent enough 
and they don't see the need for any professional development. Yeah. Is that is that right? Is that the I, I, I would say mm-hmm. that I, 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 you know, I think we all know a teacher like that. Yes. You know, yes. We, we, we do. But it's interesting is how did those teachers start to think that way? And I think mm. this is where the other side of the coin comes in that you said, you know, mm. have they grown up in an effective culture, educational culture mm-hmm. of, um, you know, uh, professional development that is caring. Hmm. Okay, another entire surprise for us, I guess. Tony, I think your connection has gone. Yeah. And I, I, I learned a hell of a lot from mm-hmm. my 20 years away. Yeah. And I thought, no, it's, it's time to come back to Turkey now. Yeah, you know, this mm-hmm. is where I want to live. This is where I want to, to, to work. And I came back. Mm-hmm. And what do you think I noticed after those 20 years when I looked at Turkish educational culture and the way our systems were running? Yeah. I saw that not a lot had changed. Oh, really? That doesn't mean nobody changed, that no institutions changed. Some institutions have made leaps and bounds in what they do. But Mm -hmm. I think as a system, you know, we haven't. Mm -hmm. When, When I got when I left Turkey, um, you know, the, the, the understanding of PD was very much workshops, training, you know, mm-hmm. we're going to do mm-hmm. a, a session on Friday afternoon, everybody has to come, it's compulsory. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm sorry, when you have that environment, Heraldiani, mm-hmm. teachers are not going to look positively about PD, mm-hmm. you know, it's, it's kind of last minute planning, somebody's coming in, you know, teachers have got to do, like maybe they're doing some extra lessons on Saturday, mm-hmm. you know, that kind of unprofessional approach to the planning of professional development, ad hoc, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. uh, isn't the best way to do it. And if it's compulsory and teachers have had no, um, no voice in how the program was put together, they mm-hmm. have no ownership of it. Mm-hmm. So of mm-hmm. course, you know, it's it's totally acceptable for them to sort of go bloody PD again. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So now, even at a, planning stage, teachers should have a say, absolutely. right? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. So maybe uh, the school or the institution can um, go through I don't know an interest uh, analysis or needs analysis absolutely. among the teachers and yeah. ask them their opinion yeah. mm-hmm. that will. Uh, bring some kind of positivity to the oh. atmosphere that's what you're saying okay yeah. Uh, yeah. and and huh. hey, Jeremy, if i sort of add to that you, sure. you know sure the, the schools that do this very well at the moment mm. do exactly that mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. and they, they don't define professional development as just workshops mm-hmm. you know they have um evolved their understanding mm-hmm. um and it's that understanding that shows their beliefs. Mm-hmm. For example, a, a lot of these schools, and again, I'm going. <laughs> a lot of these schools tend to be the wealthier schools with a fair bit of money, with a fair bit of resources, mm-hmm. you know, and they can invest in specialist teams that can professionally organize these things. And, you know, they, they do all sorts of different things. I mean, they, they do swap shops sharing forums Mm -hmm. which teachers love you know they they love sharing ideas what works what doesn't work um they've they've changed um observation and the way they give feedback you know teachers are not terrified by it anymore but in the majority of schools it hasn't worked that way Mm -hmm. you know Mm -hmm. um they have had um teacher-led um, CPD initiatives coming through, mm-hmm. you know, 
um, um, we've started to see more and more of these good uh, professional learning schools introducing classroom research or action research and helping their teachers get more familiar with those processes so that they're researching their own classrooms, mm -hmm. um, looking at problems, solving problems themselves, taking risks, and then taking those findings and doing sharing forums. Mm -hmm. Much more meaningful mm -hmm. um, to, to teachers. But are these the kind of things we see in the majority of schools and institutions? No, if I'm really honest, mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, the Millie Tim, for example, Yerk, they, they've never seriously invested in professional development mm -hmm. in the state schools. And usually they say, oh, we haven't got money. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, we have to understand that one of the titles of my favorite books, I, I, I always love it, is called If We Don't Feed the Teachers, They Eat the Students. Yeah. Excellent. And, yeah. and this is what's happened in so many schools. Mm -hmm. You know, we mm -hmm. haven't fed teachers. Mm -hmm. But the other side of the coin that is there is this problem is actually even worse in some private schools mm -hmm. that do have money. Mm -hmm. You know, they don't invest in their teachers either. You know, mm -hmm. they, they, they look at their teachers as McDonald's looks at their staff. Let's yeah. make them work as much as we can. Let's squeeze them for Milk every them drop. to the last drop. Yeah. yeah, we're not gonna give them a PD budget because if we train them, they'll leave us and they'll go somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Well, yes, because you don't look after your teachers. You don't care about them. You know, <laughs> you're not mm -hmm. investing in them. You're not helping them grow professionally. Heraldi, Yani, you're going to lose those teachers. Yeah. And another part of that culture is we know, okay, we talk about it. I mean, we've just had Teachers' Day. And on Teachers' Day, yes. we see all these flags being waved. We love teachers. We respect teachers. But teachers are ridiculously underpaid still, ridiculously overworked, and they're not being fed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, huge structural, cultural issues that we have there mm -hmm. as well. Um, Excellent and, and point, me, yeah. Yeah, for, for me, th this is why, you know, this question of how do we solve the PD or professional learning problem is so complex. Yeah. It, it is not an easy fix. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but uh, what you say definitely makes sense, and I <laughs> totally agree with you, 100% agree with you. However, I'm going to ask you something else. You know, Inget, we yes. have been around since 1995, and it's Absolutely. a non-profit organization, yep. so we mm -hmm. should don't charge people unless yep. we definitely need the money to, for example, have the photocopies, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. Yeah. Uh, from the start of pandemic, we have started all these free activities. They're yeah. open to yeah. everyone. We don't even limit these activities to our members only. Uh, these activities are open worldwide. And, uh, can, can I say these have been excellent, really? The, I, I know the effort Thank you. and the time. Thank you. But yeah. why do you think we have only a bunch of teachers? coming attending these sessions we try to have panels they don't join we have had sessions where we said Inget is listening to you come to the session tell us mm -hmm. about your problems let's try to solve them together uh, we had only 22 people attending that session so what is missing in your opinion, of course. Of course, you cannot give me two times two is four kind of answer. But what do you think is missing? Is it because these are all free and open? <laughs> Should we uh, charge people? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> 
Hojam, um, I, I, I get your point. And, and these kind of situations vexed me for years. I'm sort of going, look, you've, you, you've got a group of really caring people there um, that, that are trying to help teachers grow and, and you know, work. but as I, as I said, we've got a context as well, you know, and as I said, in that context, we've, we've got some people that just say, oh, I can't be bothered, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm working so much, I've got my family, I've got my kids, I, I've got to put my time into that, um, and they see it as being outside of themselves, they don't recognize the connection between what people like yourself are trying to do, yeah, and the growth and improvement that they can realize by participating in these networks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of you know, part of professional learning that we have grown up with. Yeah, I think that's that's the uh, that's the thing. the The other thing is the, I mean, I I know in, in you of people that I call you know, the, the hardcore self developing. You know, they want to learn more. They want to grow professionally. Um, their career. They're looking at okay, I'm I'm a teacher now, but you know. Maybe I want to be a, a, a teacher trainer. Maybe I want to move into a curriculum position. Maybe I want to move into um, a testing position. Mm -hmm. Why are people go into testing? I have no idea. I did that for a few Same years. Here. You have yeah. to be crazy. Yeah. Someone's yeah. got to do it. <laughs> but different people want to develop their careers in, in different areas, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. And some people, like the people who come to these sessions, get it. You know, they do get it. Um, what what you said about um, if we charge people, would they come? I think there's an element of that. Um, and mm. I, I learned this from my my wife, who mm. I said before is perfect. And <laughs> um, she she started training in a lot of these um, sort of energy based um development areas when when she was younger you know uh, I, I can't even remember the name of half of them reiki and all these things and mm. you know she trained up you mm -hmm. know um i'm a master uh in in a lot of these different areas she she's very proficient and then one day um she came home she said tony i've been doing this for years and in this session i've just had the most important lesson. I said, well, what do you mean? You know, it's like, we've been paying for these bloody courses for years. What do you mean? This one was most important. Mm -hmm. And she said, yeah. Um, I said, what was it? She said, if we don't charge for these healing programs that we do, people mm -hmm. don't value it. And if mm -hmm. they don't value it, you know, mm -hmm. they're not going to get better. They're not going to become healed. And I think that's true to a certain extent. You know, um, and I know, for example, a lot of the people who are here at the moment, these guys will go out, they'll sign themselves up, you know, for, for courses on their own, even yes. though I know they yes. haven't got a lot of disposable income, but they'll do it. They'll mm -hmm. go and buy books. Yep. Christ, they'll they'll order books from Amazon mm -hmm. in pounds mm -hmm. and pay half the value of the book, mm -hmm. you know, in cargo charges to get the book here. Yeah. And it's a huge amount of money. I, I know this. Yeah. You know, um, they'll go to a conference on their own. They'll pay for their own hotel room. Mm -hmm. You know, they will do this because they want to, to grow and learn. Yeah. And, and that is the kind of culture that we need to encourage. That is the culture we need to, to develop yeah. for, for real professional learning to come back into education on, on a much wider scale. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, and, and the key element here is that, you know, we teachers don't just learn for ourselves. We mm -hmm. also learn for our students. You know, when we learn something, we become better teachers, 
You know, that, that's why I was saying before, it's critical for us in our jobs. Just like doctors, they go away and they learn new surgical techniques. They learn about new, more modern medication mm -hmm. with less side effects so they can help their, their patients, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. get better faster, you know, not have these horrible side effects that mm -hmm. we, 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 we sort of see. Mm. And it, it's, it's exactly the same because we're in a caring profession. Mm -hmm. where learning and growth and improvement yeah is the basis um of the profession in addition to the care and dare i say it love that mm -hmm. we have to share you know yeah. with yeah. people that we work with yeah. yeah definitely we are talking about people who are devoted to their profession they don't see this yeah. as a job as a paying thing They see it yeah. as a, as a profession, and they do their best to mm -hmm. become even a little bit better in what they do. Tony Hojam, sure. you have already talked about how PD uh, and PDL uh, have evolved, how huh. they have changed. Uh, is there anything else that you would like to add to that, uh, or shall I ask? this about this new opportunity so you decide well, i think there's an idea um you know as as we're talking about developing um this this newer community newer culture mm -hmm. of uh, professional learning mm -hmm. we also have to look at how things have evolved and, and one of the things i've noticed is that um Teaching and learning in the classroom has evolved um, in the same way as professional development training has evolved. Mm. I mean, previously, we used to have this, you know, fill the empty head of the student approach, you know, <laughs> mm. um, the, the, the way we deal with as language teachers, give them grammar, 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 you know, um, sage on the stage type. <sighs> Type approach <laughs> i know this is your baby yeah. um and we've had that but what we've seen is an uh, an evolution in teaching and learning where we've seen more um more attention paid to communicative practice mm -hmm. we've seen more attention paid to um learner autonomy mm -hmm. yeah um to um the role of, of self-esteem and self-efficacy coming in mm -hmm. and you can also see the same pattern yeah in uh, professional development as well whereas previous previously it used to be come to the teacher training session and if you're late you'll get a letter from the director you know yeah. <laughs> it's mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. whereas what i was talking about from schools and universities who do it really well now You can see much more variety. You can see multiple approaches to professional learning. And what you see in those schools is you see happier teachers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't see as many teachers going, oh, bloody hell, a workshop. Uh -huh. <laughs> But in, in some schools, you, you still have that because we haven't got the culture right. The, the, the one problem um, I've, I've also noticed in this evolution, because I traveled a lot, mm -hmm. you know, and I, I spent time in the States, you know, I spent time in Australia, um, I'd done lots of visits to, to Europe, is that unfortunately in, in Turkey, one of the things that happened in the evolution mm -hmm. of this is because schools and the Mediatim weren't investing in this we kind of co-opted responsibility for professional development to mm. publishers you know and publishers now provide all the money for our conferences they provide all the workshops and 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 things that we we, we do and it was kind of like we abdicated responsibility for mm. you know creating our professional development to Publishers. Now, mm. I, I'm, I'm grateful. Some publishers have done a good job, but a lot of the time it's meant that that model of professional learning has stayed the same. You know, mm. you get somebody from the publisher come and does a work. It's, 
continuous it's been together you know it's it's building a, a professional development agenda a professional learning agenda that meets the needs of the teachers on a continuous basis this mm-hmm. is why cpd mm-hmm. has become so so important now yeah? what is the cpd um, tony and, uh, tony hoja what is the cpd Ah, continuous professional development thank you yeah so it's it's not a one-off workshop approach mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. you, you have a whole program where you know your professional development is linked to your goal setting and appraisal mm-hmm. uh, processes that you have in mm-hmm. school mm-hmm. so teachers again are in control of their own goal setting mm-hmm. they don't have to do only the things that the management tell them to do they they can plan their own development where are they in their career where do they want to be um in their classwork what what are their talents in the classroom what are their areas <laughs> where they could um improve a little bit mm. you know and they plan that themselves so it's a much more integrated approach mm-hmm. and and if i was honest the number one method of professional learning and people hate me when i say this is effective observation by professional observers who will give you caring and supportive feedback consistently mm-hmm. that is the one professional development tool that mm-hmm. comes through mm-hmm. sadly in most places in jenem turkey we're not there yet mm-hmm. you know it's mm-hmm. let's still it was like this 20 years ago but it's still like that let's go and see the teachers let's find where they're weak mm. you know um let's let's change them you know mm. uh, uh, you know I, I, remember what i said before it's about growth it's about personal development yes. that can never happen from outside mm-hmm. what is about horses water drinking blah 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 yeah. you know it's it's the same thing yeah, yeah. So, so people have, have ownership of it. I know uh personally that uh you are in the process of developing a non-profit project for PD and uh, PDL. Uh I would like to mm-hmm. learn and of course the participants definitely would love to learn uh this new opportunity What is it? Okay, okay. Um well in 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 a way it 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 kind of grew out of some of the issues we've been talking about today. Mhm. Yeah. And thinking of ways that we could improve this situation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um and coming up with a way um, especially after the pandemic. because if, if if i'm honest i loved i absolutely loved the way teachers survived the pandemic not only survived the pandemic but many of them thrived yeah Be- and, and despite not getting a lot of help mm-hmm. or training or mentoring in how to use zoom or how to use apps or how to use online things most teachers that i spoke to in march 2020 were going tony i'm going to kill myself or tony i'm going to retire early now <laughs> but then i spoke to a lot of them after about 12 months and i say ah you know how are you for september 2021 and they go ah i'm feeling pretty good actually mm. you know i'm comfortable with a lot of these tools i learned so much and i, I asked them i sort of said well how did you learn this and and the the look on their face was i learned by myself yeah. i'm really proud of me. or i learned with my friends and i'm going that's what we want you know it's not more training mm-hmm. yeah it's it's coming together in more of a community mm-hmm. finding new networks mm-hmm. finding opportunities that match our learning profile as teachers mm-hmm. and being provided with a rich range of learning opportunities that you can pick and mix from mm-hmm. but at the same time you know 
we have to reckon our teachers are ridiculously busy you know so sure. the idea was is can we do all of that in one place mm. yeah um and and this is where the idea came from mm -hmm. um and can we do it yeah in a way that will be positive and meaningful yeah? mm -hmm. so this is where i'm going to jump into yep i'm going to jump into um a little powerpoint i prepared earlier <laughs> yep. all right can everybody see this yes we yeah. can um okay so we're, we're, we're just gonna sorry this is a new version of powerpoint that i wasn't um used to can everybody see it there okay is, is that full screen no it's, not. it's still not full screen. Ah, okay. Okay. Just, just, just a second. Give me a minute. Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah, I, I can't. Okay. Uh, the chat box, in the chat box, they say hit F5. Oh, this, this is a Mac. Yeah. Yeah. So, all right. Let me try that. No. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, sometimes Mac uh, creates problems with Zoom. Uh, I know. So they are not uh, compatible, I guess. Uh, yeah. Well, um, I guess we can live like this. I mean, if you're not terribly disturbed with this uh, no, I'm, I'm, sharing, I'm not. You, we, can, we can just follow your slides like this. Right, yeah, guys? Yeah. I mean, I mean I'll, we I'll are all sure teachers. We you, live with the minimum satisfaction the... anyways. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, but this was it. You know, no fiber. You know, then this one locks up, and then anyway. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so what what we were um, what we were sort of doing? Yeah, hang on, just a second. Uh -huh. um, um, yeah. what, what what the first step there? Can people see that one? Yes, we can. Yeah. Okay. Uh huh. The 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 first step was look if 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 we're gonna do something like this, you know. Um, we need to get some people together to to help us make it happen. So I've got a few friends. Yeah, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think one of them is asking me a few questions right now. Yeah, <laughs> as part of the conversation. And we, we were looking at, OK, have, have we got some um, teacher educators, academics, uh, writers, bloggers, um, course developers that we could sort of bring together? Mm -hmm. um, to develop um, this this idea of providing learning opportunities, if you will, yeah, um, and 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 basically we've we've put together a group of people who who are uh, sort of doing this, and then um, the 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 next component, yeah, the next component is okay. What well, what do we do? Um, and and it's it, it's like setting up a business, <laughs> you know. You say, okay, what's my vision? What's my mission? You know, and and we we boiled it down, looking at um, you know the research we'd done and the kind of things that we were looking at in terms of the the soft spots that we had to deal with. Is we said we are going to build a better professional teacher learning community. Yeah. And as we were doing this, it occurred to us that this is probably going to be the first of its kind. Yeah, especially as we said, OK, we're going to realize it through an online portal. Yeah. Um, and this was the idea. And in fact, now that I've been researching a lot of these, um, it's probably going to be the first of its kind. I'll show you a little bit later in the world. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. We'll have Turkey number one. <laughs> Turkey number one. Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> um, now, there's a couple of elements there which are sort of saying, well, um, what 
um, what does that mean? What does that boil down to? Yeah. And we said, well, look, we, we know there are some teachers, you know, who may, maybe are not going to be that interested, but our target group are the, the people who are dedicated, um, that they're, they're curious, they, they like collaborating, you know, and we want to give them as many resources as possible. And maybe if we do a good job, a lot of those people who've been worn down by the system or haven't felt supported by the system, and we'll go, oh, oh, there's an alternative, you know, and we can get more and more teachers um, in that way. So the, the basic idea was, OK, let's put all of these resources networks together as a, a one stop shop, you know, so you're, you're, you're going yeah, you're going to an Ave Mare rather mm. than the Bacal, you know, you've got, <laughs> you've got more, more opportunities there. Mm. Yeah. Um, we, all, we also said that if we were going to do this, um, we were going to run it as a, as a non-profit at, at the same time. Well, everybody goes, OK, non-profit. Well, Inged is a non-profit, you know, um, and, and we sort of look at it and we said, well, does that mean you lose money? Well, no, <laughs> you can't lose money. That would be crazy. Yeah? Um, you know, setting up this kind of, of portal and the type of resources that I'll show you in, in a minute um, is bloody expensive, you know, so you, you've got to make money. Yeah, but at the end of the day, you reinvest everything, anything that you make back into the portal or you reinvest back into teachers or into um, students. So what we said is that our goal will be to bring these learning opportunities to our teachers at the lowest cost possible. Because, you know, if you look at some uh American or British websites, you know, they'll they'll sort of charge you $30 a month. You know, if you do a course, it's a hundred pounds to do this course. Mm. And we said, look, our, our teachers can't afford that. So we will go into negotiations with some of these people and we'll get serious reductions because we've got big numbers and we'll come up with a deal to promote them. Mm -hmm. So um, even though we're a non-profit, we do have some sponsors that um, will support us. That's the idea. Um, but we also said that we didn't want to um, rely on publishers, for example, you know, um, because we've, we've, we've had the traps of that um, before as well. And we, we, we don't want to do that. Yeah. So we're, we're going to have coffee shops and Hepsi Burda, <laughs> people giving us that, that, that kind of uh, sponsorship as well. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And where possible, if people are members of the community, there will be very valuable things that they can get for free. You know, so in, in a way, we're, we're going to be helping teachers um, with those limitations that they've got. Yeah? Now, usually when I say this last point to people, yeah, what 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 they sort of come up with, yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. is this. So, okay, you mean we have to pay for this? And I said, <laughs> oh, you know, people have been paying for PD. Yeah. Now, what we what we sort of uh, said was, okay, we'll come up with something that we we think is fair. And and what we sort of said is, okay, for a full time teacher for a full year. You know, we're not going to charge dollars. It's going to be in Turkish lira. Yeah. Despite the fact that I live in Antalya and in half of Antalya, you have to spend euros everywhere you go. <laughs> it's still Turkish lira. And we said, OK, look, um, 360 lira per year. I mean, that that is one lira less than one lira per day. Yeah, which is not a huge amount for, for what I'll, I'll show you. Also, we want to get students involved as well. And for students, you know, we will charge them 50 kurush a day. Yeah, that's the idea. Yeah, so we, we, we want to provide those opportunities. So people are paying a little bit, and that's um, showing that they value our services and they're helping us do it. But because next year is a very special year, 
Yeah. What is next year? The 100th celebration of the Republic, our Jumhuriyet. So we said, okay, let's focus on it a little bit more. And we will have a super Inderimi. This is what I call the Ataturk Inderimi. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> which will be 180 lira, which mm -hmm. again, 50 kurush a day, mm -hmm. nothing. For our students, it is 25 kurush a day. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't even get, you know, a quarter of a simit for that, you know? Mm -hmm. So we're, we're, we're sort of looking, um, we're, we're looking at that. So we're, we're really keeping the, 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 the cost low, if you will, yeah? Um, now, I've, I've done that. Very often, salespeople will tell you everything that's wonderful, and then you have to ask for the price. I've told you the price up front, you know. Just call me honest tone, you know, <laughs> that we're being very up, 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 up front with, with how we do it. But then people go, oh, okay, you know, not too bad, not too bad. Hopefully, we can also encourage some schools to also take up institutional membership. And we're hoping that schools who really care about the professional development, they will support their teachers yeah, through the same way. So, um, you know, may maybe teachers don't have to make an individual, um, take up an individual subscription. Um, their schools um, will do it for them as well. Yeah. So, I mean, that's that's something that we're, 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 we can look at. All right. So the next question then is obviously, OK, Tony. Yeah. You want 50 kudosh a day or 25 kudosh a day. What do we get for this? What do we get? Now, this is where I'm going to stop um, the PowerPoint and I'm going to show you the portal that we're putting together. Now, this is only um, a better version of the portal, you know? And you'll sort of see, yeah, when we sort of put it up. See, it's better there. Yeah. Okay, just a second. Ah. Can everybody see it? Yes, we can. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, by the so, way, my dear colleagues, uh, as Inget, uh, we totally uh, support this uh, uh, project and we have already decided to cooperate and collaborate mm -hmm. because we know and we believe from the bottom of our hearts that this is going to be extremely beneficial for our colleagues. Go ahead, Tony. Tony Hojam. Inshallah. Thank you, Hojam. Thank you. I, I was going to mention um, exactly how you're supporting us a little bit later. And I, I, I know you're, you're going to mention something as well. Yeah. But, but you can see this, this is the, um, the idea that we've got. And the, the, the concept that we have here is actually much more of a metaverse uh, concept. It's, mm -hmm. it's not a standard web page. So when we're finished, we actually will have a metaverse of um, all the opportunities um, that you can you can take advantage of. Yeah. Now, if 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 you look, you you can sort of see um, how it's working. What I would say uh, at the moment is uh, because it's the better version, um, it's only functioning on the the regular laptop or computer version. We, we've still got to do the mobile version yet. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, mm -hmm. and um, also as we're we're building it, um, our first deadline is the seventeenth of April, seventeenth uh, of December, mm -hmm. because that's when our discount will start. So between the 17th of December and 31st of December, if you subscribe, you'll get that 50% discount that I, I, mm -hmm, I mentioned mm -hmm, mm -hmm. as well. Um, now, if you if you have a look, you can see it, it's still got the things. You, you can get information on who we are and, and, and what we do, but you, you want to actually come in. Yeah. So let's let's just click on here 
and enter the portal. Mm -hmm. As we come up, you see, obviously, um, you can you can sign up. This is where you can, uh, you know, subscribe, become a member. Or once you are a member, you can sort of log in um, here by, by just logging in, coming in. You can see you've got access um, to various social media here. And you hit any issues, you can come and chat with us 24-7. Mm -hmm. Yeah except for eight of those hours I'll be sleeping and somebody else will be looking after her. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, we, we, in fact, we, we, we're building a bot at the moment, mm -hmm. yeah, which will help us there as well. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, so if we, if we kind of log in, yeah, we come and we log in, and what you can see... Um, let, let me just bring that down a little bit, yeah, just for a second. You can see the range of opportunities that, that are there. Now, the reason we've done this is we know um, different people have different learning preferences, you know, so some people will want to have, you know, face-to-face -face, um, workshops, you know, other people will want to do a little bit reading and then maybe come to a forum where they can chat about these things some people will want to do some courses so you can see we've, we've got about 18 different varieties of um, learning opportunities that you can use and if I just I'm just going to zoom in a little bit so you can see a few more of them yeah. So you can see, you know, presentations, workshops. Yeah. You can see we, we do have some programs and, and training courses um, that, are, that are there. Um, let me just whiz over a little, little, little bit more. Oh, there you uh, go. Tony Hojam, once huh. we subscribe, yep. you're not going to charge us any extra no. money for any programs or courses, right? So if I subscribe. All, everything will be free for me. Ev everything that is ours will be free. Yeah. As I said, what we might do is we might have arrangements with other training centers. Mm. And what, what they might do is they might have a $100 charge for a course. Mm -hmm. And for us, it will be an optional extra. And we will try and get that for the lowest price possible. Okay. Yeah. But we're going to have our own. And, and this is why I talk about it being um, a metaverse for Janam Turkiyem. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. we want these to be tailored for us, our context, our kids in kindergarten, mm -hmm. our teenagers in high school, our Ava Hazaluk students. Mm -hmm. You know, we, 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 we're going to do this because we're going to be talking about a lot of the issues that um, come up mm -hmm. in the areas that, that, that we've got. So you can see down here at the bottom, we've got a blogosphere. I'll, I'll show you this in a bit more detail. So with all of these, oh, look, it's definitely there, the bedtime reading library, <laughs> you know, and we'll have, you know, classic articles, seminal articles that you can go to. Mm -hmm. um, and you can download those, they become yours. One of the things that we're doing is we're also building up a book repository mm -hmm. and that will be royalty free. Mm -hmm. So um, maybe there's a book at the moment and they're on the, the sixth edition, but we can get the fifth edition for free. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we put that out there and all of our teachers can have a copy of that for free. Mm -hmm. yeah? mm -hmm. Other books like the, the one I mentioned, if we don't feed the teachers, They'll eat the students. Um, that is no longer in publication. So we've got permission to put mm -hmm. that copy there. So everybody can get a copy of that one. So we're, we're, we're going to be doing things like that. We're going to have our video store as well. So there'll be multiple videos <clears throat> that teachers can go and watch. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, it's kind of, you know, a bit of a, a multiple intelligences, um, learning preferences approach that we've we've taken with with a lot of these things you see there's another one we're, we're going to do some celebrity interviews you know about key issues as well so it's a it's it's a whole range 
of areas that we can we can look at. Yeah, just just to drill into a few of these, because as I said here, what what you will have behind these is um, every eighteen will have a metaverse room, if you will. So you will kind of go into that room and you can mm -hmm. choose the materials that you want from that area. Yeah. So I'm going to stop sharing that one. Yeah. I just wanted to give you a sense of, you know, what, what we were doing uh, with that one. And I'll just give you a couple of examples. Yeah, um, here. Uh, now, as I said, I'll, I'll send you all of these. Mm -hmm. But you can see one of the things that we're, we're, we're doing is we're, we're, we're running a series of blogs and micro blogs. Mm -hmm. um, now, if you have a look here, there are 24 different blogs that we will be running. And I don't believe there is any website in the world. Yeah. Or any portal that has that blogs, micro blogs. The difference in the blogs is you can talk about issues there. What are the issues? What are the big picture problems? But our micro blogs are going to be very um, practitioner based tips and hints um, like we've got here. Classroom tidbits, ideas that teachers can actually use. And we've grouped a lot of these in terms of things that people have told us. Um, are the areas that they're interested in most and also the areas where a lot of schools and a lot of teachers for example want to grow and develop themselves um, so for example um, evidence-based teaching is is one area um, linking that to project-based learning task-based learning as, as well as, as a, another thing um, CPD is another area how, how can we set our own goals? Um, how can we uh, work with others? What other opportunities can we, we work with? Yeah. We're going to have specialist ones for young learners, teens, and has a look, um, students as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If you look on the microblog side, which are much more practical, um, you can see here number seven, number eight, we're doing like, you know, specific ideas for warmers, for coolers for exit tickets, but then assessment for learning. How can we improve assessment for learning in the classroom? How can we improve lesson planning? You know, now a lot of places talk about, oh, we use the common European framework and we're outcomes based, but they still don't have curriculums and teachers haven't got a clue how to prepare, you know, a lesson plan based on learning outcomes. That's an urgent issue for us to deal with. Otherwise, it's just smoke and mirrors. Yeah? Um, another major issue that we've discovered from, from the research, we've discovered that, um, you know, it's not actually about how you teach that will improve the quality of student learning. It's about the quality of feedback that you give students. And, and this um, is something that's been coming out at all levels. So this idea of how can we give students the best feedback has become a very sexy subject at the moment. So we've tried to mix a few different areas um, like that. So all of these uh, will be here. And um, because we're building a community, one of the things that I say um, if anybody out there wants to get involved with, with blogging, if they want to write a blog, if they want us to start a new blog, a different blog, um, we will do that because we're not just about serving up and spoon feeding. We're about the community making decisions using their own voice to shape and uh, adapt the blogs that we've got as well. Yeah. So you could maybe start by doing um, a couple of blog posts. If you want to maybe become an editor of one of these uh, blogs, you can do that. Um, so we want you <laughs> to come and volunteer for some of these things as well. Yeah. And another one very quickly. Yeah, another one very quickly is we, we talked about courses and programs. 
Now, these are examples of the kind of courses and programs that we're going to run. Now, these ones will be free, you know, because they're our courses. Yeah? And what, what we're doing is we're developing a platform for anybody who wants to do an online course. So it's, it's similar. If you want to do an online course, you can actually develop it. We'll help you develop the course. Um, and we'll set these ones up. These ones are just examples of things that people have said to us mm -hmm. that um, they would like courses on. So when we say short courses, this could be um, a one day or two day thing, or you could spread it out over a couple of weeks. A longer pro uh, program might contain between six to 10 modules that you uh, work through as you go through. So you can see the, the, the difference with some of them. Yeah. Um, Aidan Hodja, I'm sure would love number one. Yeah. No grammar translation. Do grammar differently and creatively. Uh -huh. In fact, Hodjam, do you want to do that online course for us? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm but, shooting the videos on that topic. So yeah, uh -huh. uh, definitely I will be interested in doing something sure. like that. And so Tony Hojam, what I understand is when uh, we become a part of this project, it's not like we are only participants. We can also contribute, Absolutely. right? So Absolutely. So if, for example, any of our colleagues here uh, is interested in doing one of these, yeah. they can contact mm -hmm. you. Right? Yes, absolutely. Okay. absolutely. And then, of course, you will lead them, help them to yeah. do these programs. Okay, great. Yeah. Uh -huh. And and that's why, you know, the, the portal opportunities are for people to learn. But they're also a professional learning and career um, development opportunity for people who want to learn new skills. Mm -hmm. Maybe you've never, like we've said here, you've never done an online course before. Yeah. Maybe, you know, you want to do a hybrid course. You want to do a blended course. We can build those things. Mm -hmm. um and help you gain skills in those areas mm -hmm. yeah. but of course any teachers that want to improve in these areas mm -hmm. are more than happy to do it these are just the ones that we've we've brainstormed now and we will be putting up you know we'll do them in cohorts you know across yeah mm -hmm. now what we're hoping to do with these is partner with an international uh, training institution and also with institutions here in Jenam Turkiyem so that we can get them triple badged as certificates. Yeah, so that it will have your institution um, on it. It will have the international training institution on it um, and it will have um, our community on it as well. So again, that, that's kind of evidence for your teaching portfolio of mm -hmm. the things that you can do. Yeah. Um, have a quick look at these. Tell me if you think any of them are, are, are really good or if you want to do them later, you know, send me a quick email or a text or something. Yeah. So just wrapping it up then. Please. Um, yeah. yeah. What, what we're sort of doing is we're, we're, we're looking at this. What do you get from us? We've shown you a whole range of, of learning opportunities. Yeah, mm -hmm. that we'll be we'll be working on. Yeah, some of them will be traditional. Some of them um, are, are more integrated, teacher led. Yeah, um, we've also got resources and materials. If you like bedtime reading, like me, you can get that. If you want to follow up through videos, you know, you can get that as well. Um, there'll be regular newsletters. Um, we'll have a curation corner where we, we pick the best from the web and you can have a look at those. Um, now, also, the last one that I'm showing you is at the moment, we're also negotiating um, a, a couple of deals to get some member only benefits. And I hinted at these before. We're, we're, we're hoping to develop what, what we call a, a teacher's discount scheme. So we'll work with some shops, we'll work with some restaurants where we can all get discount being a member of the community. Mm -hmm. And inshallah, that will take the sting out of some of the inflation that we're feeling at the moment. Yeah? Um, we're also gonna have a surprise reward program. 
Now, this surprise reward program are for special days, you know, not just Teacher's Day, but Republic Day, you know, uh, <laughs> big day. Is, yeah, what we are actually going to do is we're going to be running a few uh, lotteries where we will have some very big prizes donated by our sponsors. So we're, we're hoping that one of our sponsors is going to be an airline and that <laughs> one of our sponsors, not Vallahi Billahi, I'm in negotiations as we speak. Um, and we are all peeping our... guys, fingers crossed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um it's a bit like buying a milli piango ticket but yeah. <laughs> you know, 25 kudos a day that's okay uh -huh. so what what we're hoping to do is there might be a big conference that you want to go to hmm. yeah the international training partner will cover your expenses at the conference the airline company will pay for your ticket and your hotel so we're going to have big things like that. Heral Diani, we're not going to be able to send thousands and thousands, but you, you get the idea. It's it's yeah, sort of sure, sure. paying back. Yeah. Um, and our big area is is what we're calling our Edu Pazar. Now, th this won't be starting on January, but mm -hmm. what we're going to be developing there is um, a kind of Pazar where teachers can sell their own materials you know, for a few Turk Turkish lira, you know? So mm -hmm. uh, what we're hoping there is that that is going to improve the amount of sharing. Mm -hmm. um, teachers can earn, you know, um, I don't know, 50 lira, 100 lira, if they're really good, you know, maybe they can even resign from teaching and become a professional <laughs> materials writer by, by using that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Materials and writers what, what make a fortune, is, believe me. <laughs> uh, but, Look but, at figure one. For us is if, any, <laughs> if you are a member with us, yeah, we will take we will not take a percentage of your earnings. Most of these sites will take 20% of your earnings, 30% of your earnings. We're not going to take anything. Yeah. Um, hopefully our sponsors will cover that and it will be a way of helping our teachers get a little bit of extra money for doing the stuff that they like. Da -da! That is the community, the portal and the metaverse that we are developing. Okay. If they uh, visit this portal and click on that sign in uh, button, will they get the necessary information on how to subscribe, uh, how to pay the money, uh, what kind of other documents you need, or is there any other place where they can find this information? Okay, one, one thing that we're doing is they will not be able to get that information from the website mm -hmm. until the 18th of December. The 18th okay. of December is our soft launch. So from the 18th, yes, they'll have access to it. The database will be up and running. They'll get everything there. Okay. Um, so guys, before... uh, do not visit the portal before 18th of December. <laughs> but if you're interested, visit the portal on or after the 18th of December and get the necessary information uh, uh, about how to subscribe, and yep. uh, all the other necessary documents, if any other is needed, uh, from the portal. Yes. Uh, and the discount is going to be valid between uh, 18th of December 18th and 31st of 31st. December. If they yes. miss this uh, timeline, they will have to pay double, right? After the January the first, the regular price. Okay, mm -hmm. so guys, keep your eyes Which open. Which is still only one lira a day, Hojam. I know, I know, but uh, they need to have. Uh, they need to find. Well, they need to benefit from this session, right? They are here listening to us. So if they are here listening to us, yeah. unlike all the others having fun at home. <laughs> Well, we are having much more fun. <laughs> That's something else. At least we need uh, to give our colleagues uh, a kind of um, 
I don't know, opportunity, right? Absolutely. Uh, definitely. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and oh, Hoja, one, of, one of the things that we said is Inged um, is going to be working with, with our community yes. and our, our yes. portal. And we'll, we'll be True. putting out a lot of um, marketing materials that we'll put through um, mm -hmm. with Inged as well. Yeah. Um, my daughter is also working with <laughs> um, Ayn Hoja's daughter. All they daughters are, are involved now. <laughs> Wallahi billahi. Boys are useless. Girls do all the work. Yeah. Um, so we, we'll be we'll be preparing some marketing materials, some information materials. We'll be putting some stories up on um, Instagram. Um, and you'll be able to access information and find out exactly what you need and more details on these areas as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Ali Hojam has a question. Uh, I think oh, the answer okay. is yes, but still I need to raise the question. Uh, is this portal open to both students and teachers? Yes. Yes. Yeah. We, we wanted to do it like that. Yeah, we wanted to do it like that. Yeah. And for students, um, in fact, you even give uh, more discount, right? I, as far yeah. as I remember. So, uh, Ali Hoja, do they yeah. need to prove that they are students? Or are you going to take their word for that? No, no. We're, we're, we're going to have systems in place. Oh, okay. you know, okay. just so, Ali Hoja, uh, definitely you're going to get a very good discount. Thank because, you very much. Uh, because, I'm uh, looking forward to it. Of course. <laughs> um, by the way, uh, this project is, uh, I believe in this project. This doesn't mean that we're going to leave Inged. Inged is, of course, still mm -hmm. the best association in the whole world. But this one is not an association. Don't forget that. That's why we decided to work together, support each other, because uh, both of us, both Inged and Edu Enishte, have the same mission. Mm -hmm. Offer services to English language teachers in our country first, then worldwide. Because we love our children we love the students we love the teachers and we know that by helping teachers we will definitely help children we will definitely help students and mm -hmm. tony hojam was very generous to give us two free subscriptions for this year's most inspiring English teacher award. So the teachers this year, uh, we have already completed that. We have chosen the teachers. They're, we are gonna announce them later. Uh, excellent teachers, they're wonderful teachers. They're gonna get two free subscriptions. Thank you, Tony Ojam, for that very generous gift. I know that they're gonna appreciate that. And they will have enough time, definitely, uh, to enjoy the portal. Any other questions? Let me check the big, I know we have kept you uh, for a very long time. I'm so sorry, guys, but we are excited about this. So- uh, well, John, could, I, could I just add one more thing about sure, what, what we sure, talked about? Sure. With a collaboration mm -hmm, here, mm -hmm. you know, Aidan Hojam and I, we, we've talked a lot about how we're gonna collaborate. Um, and one of the things that we've said on, on the discount side of things mm -hmm. is that when you join the portal, you can actually choose an association or a VACUF. And what we will do is we will pay half of your membership fee mm -hmm. um, to join an association. Mm -hmm. So if you want to use your discount for Inged, which is what we hope you will do, you know, <laughs> you will get a 50% discount on your Inged fee at the same time. Mm -hmm. And what, what we've done, we, we kind of have a policy. We will only choose 
one institution because we, we don't want competition between things, you know. So I, I have chosen um, Inged. I've, I've told um, Aidan Hanum, Hanum this, Hojam, and um, that's what we'll be working with. We won't be working with any other English language association because we don't think that's fair. We've supported Inged for a long time. Yes. Um, Aidan has supported me for a long time as well. Always. So that's the type of added benefit of discount program. And our dis discount program will grow. But that's mm -hmm. that's one definitely that you can all benefit from. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Hojan. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Any other questions? Thank you also, Chab. In fact, uh, your support means a lot because um, you know our yearly fee is really really funny mm -hmm. <laughs> well we are going to increase it sorry for that uh, in the new year because uh we cannot accomplish anything with 35 liras a year anymore uh we are going to go oh, Jim, you've bankrupt. got even buy a packet of cigarettes for that <laughs> <laughs> but I just want to warn you that unlike uh, Tony Hojam's portal, Inget being an association and uh, being uh, obliged to follow the necessary law and uh, regulations can accept only teachers and fourth year students of ELT departments. We cannot uh, admit any other uh, people to our association. This is by Turkish law that is, you know, given like that. So portal is open to everyone, but the association to become a member of our association, you need to be one, an English teacher. Your nationality is not important. You can be from any <laughs> nation. Two, you should be fourth year ELT department student. Otherwise, you cannot join our association, unfortunately. Uh, will there be face-to-face -face meetings, Tony Hoja? Yes, definitely. Definitely, yeah. That's what we've done. We've tried to balance it. So um, there's a lot of live events that will, will take place. Um, some of these will be a uh, presentation or a workshop, and then we'll follow those up with forums, you know, like um, fireside chats or best chaya sessions mm. where we can get together wow. and we can talk about Bad. these mm. things. Yeah, because that's the whole point is we, we want it to be interactive. We want people to come together. We want people to find new friends and maybe even a husband or a wife. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> in fact, Tony Hojam has been contacting several different academics and uh, teachers all over Turkey to be able to uh, have contact people or, I don't know, shall I call them trainers in different cities? So yes, the, set, the headquarters is going to be in Antalya, but uh, I know how much effort he has put into this. Uh, he's trying to find different contact people in different cities where uh, he can run different face-to-face uh, -face activities or events. So, well, uh, of course, it's not going to happen all at once it will grow slowly with your support don't forget that associations or you know projects like this can exist everywhere they can't exist without your support that is the issue so you need to continue supporting us and please consider contributing as well Tony Hojam has left that door open. He said, if you're interested, um, if you feel that you're competent in that field, if you want to, you know, uh, get more information okay. about that, please contact with Tony Hojam, get more information. And maybe you can also be a part of this project. How about that? 
Anything else? Oh, okay. There will be kusur and yapraksa. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Tony Ojab, this core group, these people that I have here, they are the best people in the world, believe me. I mean, every Friday evening, they are here supporting me, supporting Igin. And mm. they have such a big heart full of love and devotion to their profession. So you will be very lucky to have these people uh, subscribers to your portal, believe me. And they, they deserve the discount. <laughs> Tony Hojam, thank you very much because uh, I think this information uh, is going to spread now and uh, we will publish the video and more people will learn about it uh, my dear colleagues I don't know how to thank you uh, we will stick to our Friday evenings but this one we wanted to have on uh, a little bit early so that Tony Hojam could give you the good news about the discount and the portal. Uh, but we will stick to Friday evening. So don't worry about that. OK, mm -hmm. I'm not going to occupy all of the evening that you have. <laughs> Take very good care of yourselves. I love you. Inged loves you all. And. I hope to see you this Friday. Tony Hojam, thank you. Take care. My Bye. pleasure. My pleasure. As always, thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye. Good night. <laughs>